Okay, so today's day five of my videos, and I've been thinking a lot about these videos and how I want them to be useful. Like, not necessarily for you, but yeah, for you, but for me too. And, you know, at first I was like, I'm not going to come up with a topic because then I'm going to think about a topic and then I'm going to want to perfect it and then I'm going to want to, you know, um, I'm not going to do the video until it's perfect. Like that topic is, you know, feels like I really tackled it and did it well and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, so I'm starting to love that thought that I, I don't want to plan it and loving all these thoughts about this, this video series and what I want to do with this. And, um, and listening to a bunch more like motivational, inspirational people last night, I decided that first of all, I need to really love the thought that I, um, that I'm like trying to con not control and in the process control, right? Like I'm trying to not control the content of these videos. And so by doing that, I'm controlling them. And so what I decided was that um, if I had a, like, ooh, I want to share that with people idea, I would write it down and then let it go. Um, and so, you know, they're not going to be scripted. The videos still won't be scripted, which is what I, I didn't want them to be scripted anyway, because I wanted to be really, like, speaking from my heart and being authentic and in the moment. And, um, but at the same time, like, still, like, tackling subjects that um, I am passionate about. And also... Um, if there's something that I need to do the work on, like if, like the work could be the Byron Katie work, if you know what that is, or just a subject that I need to explore more. Like I, I know if I notice a fear coming up for myself or if I notice something that, um, I don't love about myself that I struggle with or a challenge that I would just make note of it. And then, um, I would basically publicly <laughs> through this, uh, dissect it and, uh, process that out loud in front of all of you. Um, which I just think is again, me being authentic and sharing my experience as I move through the world. So that being said, I also decided to test out, you probably heard that thing where there's, um, that you, it only takes 21 days to create a new habit. And so there were these two things that immediately popped into my head is like, ooh, I'm going to do this for 21 days and I was going to document, I'll document like my, um, process here. Um, my successes, my challenges, um, all of it. And these two topics popped up in my head and one was, um, oh, I want to, I want to not drink for 21 days. And then the other one was, I want to meditate for 21 days. Um, so to give you a little backstory is I used to, I've, I've done a couple 10 day silent meditation sits and I really believe in the power of meditation and I've never been able to make it a practice of my own. And so, um, and I struggle most, struggle mostly with it at night. Um, like I, cause my goal was, um, an hour in the morning and an hour at night. And so, uh, and I struggle mostly at night because I'm up late, um, hanging out with friends, I'm doing things and I'm not, um, usually able to, to then, um, put in that hour at night. And so, uh, so that's one of them. And then the other one to not drink, I realized that through all these personal growth things and, um, and kind of transformational exercises that I've been doing over the years and especially more lately recently, just, um, and exploring my deeper self, I've noticed that I have less of a desire to drink anyway. And plus that's not creating a new habit. That's eliminating one. And so I decided to, to go with the meditation piece because that's introducing a new habit that's not currently in my life. And I decided to keep it just an hour a day in the morning because I want to make, I want to make it accessible. Um, I want to control it. Maybe it'll be longer. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it'll be shorter. Um, but, and so the 21 day new habit thing I've heard through multiple people, but I have to tell you that, um, Jen Sincero, I think that's how you say her name. Um, and I think the website is daily ohm, uh, and I'll put the link below, but she did this like badass class and she wrote like a book and stuff. You probably heard of her book, but anyway, she did this like class and it was awesome because it was basically donation. You can pick them out that you want to give and then you get this 21 day creating a new habit class. And, um, so I did it and I took all these notes. You'll see in this, in this book, I like every day I, I did, you know, I did her class and, um, and then I think I failed after about two weeks 
<laughs> and I love that I failed. Um, I think I made it to, let's see, day 16. Okay, so um, a little over two weeks. And uh, so, yeah, so now I'm going to try it again. Um, and I'm not necessarily going to do her class. I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to commit to every day meditating for an hour in the morning and then, um, and tell you how that goes. And, and, um, maybe I will go through, like, look up her website again and log in and just see if I want to also do the documentation that comes with it. I did find it helpful. She has you like, um, really simply, like only takes like 10 minutes or so a day, but has you kind of document certain things and it. I think it helped move my brain, um, through that process. So I'm going to do that, and then um, since it's in my lap, I wanted to also share this really cool um, Rituals for Living Dream Book and Planner. I got this, um, I don't know how long ago I got it, probably like a year or so ago, and uh, it's just really um, a cool book if you want to kind of um, kind of dive into some of your thoughts but don't know how to like start that process of thinking. So they have like prompt questions and, um, you just go through it and, uh, like the first one is considering, consider these six main areas of life. And it talks about like your wellness, your psychological, spiritual health, uh, creation, exploration, play, family, relationships, jobs, all those things. Anyway, it has you kind of go through discovering your core values and gifts. Um, then you come up with like your vision for the future. Um, but it really, the questions are designed to really make you think on a deeper level. And I think also think more for like what you want deep in your heart versus what your, your mind might tell you you want based on what we learned and our experiences. And, um, and so I think it just kind of helps to get to the center of the good stuff. So, um, yeah, I love stuff like this. So I can put that link below too. It's, um, it's a, it's a, just a really good book. This couple designed it and, um, I'm still going through it. I'm not even very far now that I look at it. <laughs> um, but I'm in no rush. I'm just doing it at my own pace. And, um, I think that's what I like about it too. There's not a schedule. Um, so that being said, uh, yeah, I think that I'm going to, um, try this 21 day thing and each day I'll report on how it goes. Um, I was going to start today, which would mean I'd end. So I'll meditate for an hour. Normally, I think I'm going to commit to doing it in the morning. But it's since it's Saturday and I already got up and got a little run in. And I need to go eat a late breakfast. Um, I'll probably just do it after breakfast. And then um, maybe I'll report on that tomorrow. So that'll bring me to, I think, the 29th will be 21 days. So we'll see. Um, they say that that's how long it takes to create a new habit. And, uh, so I'm excited. And also in a week, I'm going to be at this, um, workshop. Uh, the Human Awareness Institute is, um, a really great, um, if you want some really deep personal growth. Um, they're all, they're, uh, they're kind of all over, but they're mostly based in California. And so if you go to Human Awareness Institute, so it's H-A-I dot org, I think it is, or .com. Um, I think it's .org. You can check out their workshops, and um, I've done levels one through three, and so next week I'm doing level four. And um, they ask at the workshop that you cut off all technology, and plus there's no service up there anyway. So what I'll do is I'll probably still record the videos. I just won't be able to post them. So I just want you to know that. Um, got to do what you got to do. And uh, I'm really excited to this level four workshop. So um, I've I started going a year and a half ago was my first one, level one. Actually, it was in April last year, level one. So, and then I did level three a couple months ago. Also in April, actually. So, um, and this one is called um, Spirituality and Sexuality, level four. So, I have no idea what I'm about to get into, but it's going to be awesome. Actually, that being said, you know, it's funny... I have this resistance to, um, I don't know why I have a resistance, but for example, when I, before I went to level three, I was dreading it. I had like a lot going on in my life and well, it doesn't matter. I can come up with a million reasons. I was just dreading it. I didn't want to go, even though I know how awesome they are. And even though I know that like, 
you know, I knew once I got there, it'd be fine. I still had this dread and I resisted it and fought it and, you know, went anyway and, um, had this amazing transformational experience and was so stoked and couldn't believe I even thought about not going. Cause I did, I was like, maybe like the night before I'm like, maybe I could get my ticket to someone, you know, I was trying to get out of it. Like my brain wanted out. And I don't, I, I wonder if that's like, it's not a resistance to growth. I think it's, maybe it's a resistance to like the unknown because you don't really know what you're getting into with each, each level. Um, and so, and each level has really pushed me. So maybe that's why I knew that I was going to be really pushed and challenged. And there's a resistance. I think I have a resistance to that. I, I like, like, I think like a lot of humans, we like to be comfortable and, uh, I don't want to live my life like that. So I'm trying to be uncomfortable and, um, push myself. And if I, I'm trying to notice that if somebody asks me to do something and I have a, like a fear or resistance or like a pit in my stomach, um, I'm going to try to start saying yes to that. There's a good Ted talk on that. Actually, my year of saying yes is what it's called. Maybe I'll put that link below too. It's just links galore below. All right. Have a great Saturday. Um, if you're watching this on Saturday, this is day five and I'm going to start day one of, uh, a new habit starting today. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Bye.